Hi, everybody. My name is Todd Conklin, and this is a pre-accident investigation safety moment. I hope you're having a good day today. So today, let's talk about this idea. It's a pretty good one. Let's quote from the world-famous father of kind of the new view, Jens Rasmussen, Dutch safety theorist, really impressive guy. If you've been through any new view training, human performance you know all about the performance modes, and Rasmussen really talked to those. He created those ideas. That's his theory, and he talked to them very carefully. He also has a quote that I like a lot, and here's the quote. It's kind of a loose translation of the quote, but it's something for us to think about for this, um, this operational excellence moment we're having today. He says that human beings learn through a series of micro-experimentation, and then he says, not all of those experiments are successful. Your workers are trying and failing all the time. Trial and error is an important way for people to learn, and it's a really important thing for us to think about when we think about how safety is created. Now, I've spent time in lots of organizations. I'm lucky. I get to travel around and talk to people. I definitely get to see some incredibly good safety programs. And I see some ones that have some challenges, some opportunities to improve. And one of the things that I see often are a set of cardinal rules, some golden rules, some uh, life-saving rules, things that cannot be ever broached, broken, changed or violate it. Now, the purpose behind these golden rules is really to create safety. Unfortunately, what happens is when we give workers a set of cardinal rules, 10 things that they must never do, we put workers in a position where instead of, the, of, of telling those workers how we want the work to be done, we tell them what not to do in the hopes that they'll find the better way to do it. Trial and error, micro-experimentation, and sometimes those experiments fail. I want to challenge your thinking just a little bit today, and I want to do it by telling you two things about golden rules, cardinal rules. One is that permanent, fixed, sacred rules are actually harder to manage for management it's actually more difficult to manage cardinal rules than it is to manage the classic sort of negotiated behaviors, choices, and opportunities we see in the workplace. But that's really not the point. I think that's interesting, but that's not what we want to talk about. Today, what I want to share with you is the fact that any time you build a sacred set of rules, you're reducing creativity and increasing the opportunity for violation. Think that over a bit. Might come in a little strong, might be easily discounted, but I want to encourage you that I don't think we save lives by telling workers eight new ways to get fired or 12 new ways to get punished or 10 new ways to lose your job. I think what actually keeps us safe is not telling workers what not to do but in fact telling workers what to do. Now, you can use those golden rules. Don't throw them away. But instead of thinking of them as methods to dictate punishment, why don't we think of them as the categories of highest potential negative catastrophic outcome? There are eight categories in my company, or 10 categories in my company, or 12 categories in my company. These categories represent a risk that we know happens operationally, and in that risk are many, many hazards. So one of our golden rules used to be never at height without fall protection. Now we can say one of our defense categories, one of our safeguarded categories, one of our special eight safeguarded categories is working at height. When we work at height, we know the consequence of failure 
is amplified. And because the consequence of failure is amplified, we want to create an opportunity to put the best, most robust, most error-tolerant safeguards into that system we possibly can. Rethink your golden rules. Rethink your life-saving rules. Rethink your cardinal rules. And instead of telling workers what not to do, build a system that tells workers what to do. We'll talk more later, next safety moment, because I want to talk to you about stop work as well. But for now, that cardinal rule question is a really important question for you to think over. That's your safety moment for today. As always, learn something every day. Have a lot of fun. And for goodness sakes, be safe. (laughs) 